Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to implement a circular progress indicator. So I've already got a, a linear progress indicator implemented right here. Let you choose so you just provide some progress to the user. Maybe you're downloading a file, waiting for, for a file to load. Maybe you're implementing something in the background like it's a game, you're building something and you have a progress of that. And you maybe you're making some sort of you know, a Fortnite game, you have a little progress for what you're building for example. And this is great for that the linear progress indicator is. Another way of indicating something is using a circular progress indicator. It you know uses a little less space, so you could just sort of plump it in a corner, or you could have multiple of them, and they look a little better, especially on you know multiple rows. Maybe you're you know making this new downloading application, and you can download multiple files. And on each row, it saves the file name, it saves you know maybe the file size, and it gives you some progress. And I think the circular progress indicator is great for that. I'm going to get rid of this, but I just wanted to show you what the linear progress indicator look like. I've got a separate video covering that, so I recommend that you check that out. To implement a circular progress indicator, it's simple. Just do circular, circular progress indicator. And in here, we can do a value. So let's do, if we do a value of 90. Hmm? Why is that hot? Ooh, the value color. No, you don't want to do value color. Not yet. The value, as you can see, this is uh, 90, but we don't really have any color. So let's, you know, implement a color. So what we're gonna say is, do, 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 do. I'm gonna say background color is going to be colors dot cyan. So let's see what we get so far. And now what we want to do, actually, let me, sorry, the value needs to be 0 0.9 because it's between 0 and 1. The reason we're going to do, there we go. So we got a background color, um, but instead of that, let's actually implement a value color. So it's not the background color that we're interested in, it's, in the, it's the value color. So for this, we're just going to say, always stop to animation, color, so colors dot, Oh, I quite like, yeah, I, I like deep orange. Save that. It's changed, it's, honestly, it's hard to, to tell. So let's do something that's obviously different. You know, blue's different. If I save that, as you can see, that's not different. If I did 0 0.05, which is 5%, as you can see, it's a lot smaller. If I did 25, which is 25%, as you can see, a quarter of it is filled up. It's really all there is. And what I want you to do as an extra task is actually two extra tasks. Is one, hook this up with a slider. You can check out the slider video of you know what sliders are, so you know how to implement them. So when you move the slider left and right, this essentially will go up and down. Also, have another thing where maybe you click a button and it animates from zero to one hundred percent, and maybe from one hundred to zero percent. I've got animation videos, so feel free to check them out. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.